Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's Sunday. It's finally the day. Some of you have been waiting to open all of your safe packs until today because of the reason that Team of the Year icons are back in packs supposedly today, right? Foot Sheriff leaked it earlier in the week and today is normal mini release day. I don't know if we're going to see extra honorable mentions in packs today. We'll talk about the potential of that, but of course, we do expect to see Team of the Year icons re-released back into packs as kind of like our mini release. Um, and that could impact these guys on the market, of course. We're going to take a look at prices for that and these honorable mention cards. Will they drop down a little bit lower today during the day with the potential supply from more people opening up safe packs? Kind of like that final spam of maybe the lightning rounds and safe packs being opened because some of you guys even, I know, have been saving, waiting for these Team of the Year icons to come back into packs. We'll take a look at that and also how will today's SBC content affect the market as well. Sundays recently have been the days where we've been getting icon upgrade or hero type upgrade gamble pack SBCs. Could we get another one today? There's not a new fresh one in the code that looks like it might be dropping, but EA could absolutely be dropping some sort of player pick today. And I think a lot of us that are opening league upgrade packs would love more SBCs to craft and grind into. So we're going to take a look at all that and of course the market in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start talking about these Team of the Year icons because, again, like I said, some of you guys have been saving packs until today. Like, I even have some of my 8310s, 83 times 25 all of these big saved up packs that aren't league specific because we have the potential chance of packing Team of the Year icons in them, and this is the league, right? We saw this on Thursday. Foot Sheriff said Team of the Year icons will go out of packs Friday, which they did. He said they should come back on Sunday, and he said they also probably won't communicate this. They haven't said a word. So this is going just exactly to the leak so far, which is why we expect them to come back in packs today. Now, how will that impact their prices? Well, of course, you would expect some of these guys, even though they're icons and they're pretty rare and tough to pack in general, you'd probably expect some guys like Pires, Cole, Nesta, Vandersar, guys that have risen up so much already. Look how rare Vandersar is, man. Vandersar was 600k on Wednesday or Thursday. Was it Thursday? 600,000 coins on Thursday when the full team was released in packs and every single day his price just keeps going up and up and up. 800,000 coins now this guy is. Yes, these are guys who are icons that are hard to pack, but if they are released back in packs, their prices will drop for one and two reasons. Number one, people will start to sell them knowing and expecting them to come back into packs and two, they'll just get packed, they will get supplied. So I would imagine that these team of the year icons would be in packs for the rest of the week like the team of the year and the honorable mention card Cards are but watch out for a little bit of panic selling today and also some supply after the content drop now of course with some of these icons that are a bit more rare like let's say maybe Ronaldinho David Beckham or this Gerd Muller card maybe for some of these guys you don't need to um, buy them after the content drop today with the supply because they're not going to get packed that much and if their drops are so significant today before the content drop there might be some good opportunities to trade with these guys but in theory these cards will probably drop lower today and, and maybe throughout the rest of the week it just depends on the content of course but today would be kind of like one of those last big days with a lot of lightning rounds and a lot of saved up packs available for these cards so watch out for some drops now again I don't expect to see crazy drops. Like, I'm not expecting to see this Gerd Muller card down at, like, 1.2 million coins again. Or I'm not expecting to see even, even Vandersar going back down to all the way down to, what was he? What did we say? 600K, right? I don't know if he's going to go all the way down to 600,000 coins. Look how rare this card is right now, right? These guys are very rare because they were only in packs for a couple of days. And a few days more in packs where not that many people are opening packs. And with the market doing as good as it is, yeah, these guys will drop but I'm not expecting them to go like absolutely down into the mud. They're going to stay pretty expensive like the whole rest of the team of the year market is, right? These prices that we still see for these team of the year cards continues to surprise us, but we have to accept the new normal because these guys uh, are just, they're they are hard to pack. That's, that's the honest nature of them. It feels like team of the years of old with the pack weight for these Team, the real team of the year cards, it feels hard to pack a team of the year this year. I'm not seeing a lot of people hit them very, very consistently like last year. Um, and, of course, last year was like 
not easy to pack a team in there, but it was the easiest it has ever been. So it feels like we're kind of taking a step back into the older FIFAs a little bit with how difficult it is to pack team of the years this year. Now, I know if you've packed one, you're like, hey, dude, I've packed a couple. They're not that hard to pack. Well, say that to the rest of us that haven't got one just yet. And, and look at the pack percentages as well. Even the same thing goes for these honorable mentions, right? Today, since it is kind of one, one of those last big days that people have been saving up packs to open, I do believe some of the honorable mentions will drop in price today. Some of them might even hit their lowest price while they're in packs uh, for this promo today. I mean, that could honestly happen if the uh, if the content starts to slow down throughout this next week, kind of forecasting and looking forward. I know we have the Future Stars promo that is upcoming. I know we are even starting to look at swaps programs for that and information and packs and stuff. But some of these guys, the more rare ones, the more hype ones, maybe Koulibaly, maybe Valverde, Davies, we'll have to see. If the drop-offs today are big on these cards, this might be one of the lower points for these guys because there's still, let's face it, a lot of really hype cards in this team that a lot of people want to get in their squads. Regardless of whether uh, they're just upgrading a player for their squad or wanting to build around one of these guys, there's a lot of demand, big name players in here, and decent boosts on these cards. So again, like you saw the Harry Kane card, this is one of the biggest risers yesterday for sure, but this guy's pretty rare. Yesterday he went from 340 all the way to 400K and then is now back down to like the 330 to 340 range. Do I expect him to go back up to 400K today? I don't. We have squad battle rewards that's going to bring some supply to the market and of course with Sunday and everything like that it, usually we don't see as big of a rise on Sundays but that just goes to show you there's demand for these cards and they're moving around on the market but watch out for those guys today I think they could drop a little bit more with the landing round supply and with the saved up packs now other content today on Sunday let's talk about the SBCs because we have a couple players SBCs that are still not released we got the Jabi Alonso yesterday the final of course as we know it no other leaks for right now but the final team of the year icon player SBC now we still have two player SBC names that have not been dropped yet and that is Jorginho and Richarlison right we had the flashback Jorginho leak yesterday and we've had a Richarlison moments leak now for a couple of days yesterday we saw a moments youth that was released really cheap card not that amazing stats but you know at least something to put some low rated cards into um, if you're doing a lot of duplicates you know if you have a lot of duplicates from doing team of the year packs you can at least put an 83 and an inform in here which is probably what I'm going to do with some of my duplicates that I have right now and and get myself an 87 rated card that might be fun to try with interesting links or just an 87 rated card that you can use as fodder it's at least a place to put your 83s so uh maybe we'll see Richarlison I would expect to see one player SBC today whether it is Jorginho or Richarlison one of those two guys I think would be dropping today but the other question is Sundays recently you guys remember and have known it's been the day where we've gotten the icon upgrade packs or player picks. It's usually between Sunday and Monday, but recently Sunday has been that day. And I think with everything going on in SBCs and with content in this game, I feel like today is going to be that day once again. I don't know if it's going to be an icon upgrade pack or I feel like we're do a hero player pick once again. Maybe we'll get the first ever World Cup specific hero player pick, right? EA usually go between one week they do an icon, next week they do a hero. I mean, it's team of the year. Last year, we had a hero and an icon pack repeatable both in the game. Maybe they'll drop both this week because it's team of the year, but it feels like we're just doing another World Cup hero or just the hero player pick in general, and hopefully it's World Cup hero specific. So with that being in mind, any sort of big gamble pack today, we got to look at fodder, right? I know fodder moved yesterday because we had the 85 times three midfielder upgrade and Jabi Alonso. Some fodder has gone up, and I'm glad we talked about it in yesterday's video talking about investing in this stuff because... Some of it has already started to rise. Of course, your 83s, they're still really cheap, right? Your 84s are up just a little bit. I think last night they were like 2.8K. Now they're kind of chilling around the 3 to 3. 0.2k range so anything under 3k i think is great for 84s and honestly even with the 85s going up a little bit yesterday uh, at their absolute lowest like last night on the youtube video we were talking they were like just under 10,000 coins a lot of these guys peaked at 11k maybe even 12k yesterday they're back down at 10 to 11 if you can get these on bid at 10,000 coins or less i think it's a solid buy for this week with all the SBCs that we have out and the more that are to come, there's going to be a lot of demand for fodder and the supply is going to start drying. After today, guys, the supply really starts to dry up. Tradable supply 
that is. I know we have the 83 times 10s that are going to be available from the daily login packs, and that's going to push people to go and do more SBCs after today as well. EA know that. That's why I think they're going to drop an icon or a hero a pick or a pack today. So I think fodder, if you haven't made an investment yet, and if you want to, I think it's looking pretty good. 85s under 10K or right at 10K if you can. Try to get some on bids. 86s at 14 to 15 is okay. Not amazing, but it's okay. And then 87s, if you can swing it, maybe at like 20,000 coins on bid. That's going to be tough. But the low tier fodder looks the best right now because the higher tier fodder is just rising up, up, and up because... It's not getting packed that much, but it's needed, right? You need the high rated squads, your 88, 89 rated squads for Mbappe Player of the Month, for all these other SBCs that are out there. I know a lot of you guys invested in these cards, and we said to hold, and this is why. Messi, 74K, De Bruyne, 74, Lewandowski is the only 91 in packs right now, and he's 76,000 coins. The high rated fodder is to the moon, and it's going to keep going. Like, there's no reason that it's going to drop as of right yet. I know EA might drop some tradable supply today, or a lot of saved up packs will be open, but with so many of those guys out of packs, if you are an owner or an investor in high-rated fodder, keep lazy listing it. I mean, 80K looks like it absolutely could happen now with the way that the fodder is rising up very, very nicely, and uh, there's more and more SBCs that are being dropped. So that's the one thing I'd watch out for today, though, is like an icon pack or a hero pack, and of course, as we normally see, that could impact the market as well. And that could create a really, really good scenario where maybe you're trading with some cards today. If you're like, Nate, I'm trying to buy some cards maybe for my team um, or something like the, along those lines. Or I'm trying to buy an honorable mentions card at a really low price today. What's going to impact their price on the market today? I do believe that an icon pack or anything, um, a, a hero pack, player pick, that causes panic, right? We saw this last Sunday as well. It was an absolutely like incredible opportunity to buy cards as they were getting panic sold uh, because they were getting packed last week. And of course, with the panic of a SBC being dropped, people have to sell cards to go into that SBC. You saw a lot of cards last week that were around, you know, 100 to 300,000 coins. They get sold in price because people have to go sell a card like that to go afford the SBC, right? So that's what I'd be watching today is I would watch your cards that are around, I don't know, the one to three, 400K range, because that's usually where EA tend to price these sort of uh, icon or hero upgrade packs or player picks. So there could be a really good scenario today where there's a lot of panic, maybe around the content drop a couple hours after, and you see some really good prices on these honorable mentions. Might be a time to, you know, buy some of those for an investment, looking forward into the latter part of this week, or maybe you pick one up for your team if that is something you're interested in, because just again, Guys, with the way the market is, like right now, I just don't see a ton of opportunities for the market to drop. It just looks like the content's going to slow down a little bit after today, and those guys are just going to slide up in price with how many more coins we have on the market as well. That's not, you know, we have to think about that today as well. People are opening packs, opening lightning rounds, save the packs. That's going to bring more coins to the market, which then people will maybe go out and be buying some teams um, as they get more coins. That's absolutely a thing. So watch out for that kind of thing on the market today as well with that SBC potentially coming. Now, yesterday with the Ajabi Alonso, and I wanna talk about yesterday's content just a little bit, we had a really cool Ajabi Alonso. We really did. I mean, most people can agree this is a pretty dope card. Four star, four star, high, high, uh, 80 pace. And it's not like the best card ever, but it's really craftable. It's only about 400,000 coins, and you can tell people are hyped about it because the way the foot bin vote is, the thumbs up, all that good stuff. Ajabi Alonso has got a 91% upvote. On footbin. That's pretty crazy, right? For an icon player SBC, by the way, EA Sports, GG's. You've killed it now twice. Jabi Alonso is a dub. Hugo Sanchez is a dub as well. Absolutely love those. Um, I think the 85 times three defender might refresh today as well. I know the 85 times three midfielder came out yesterday. It is a little bit overpriced and it's it's an 85 squad, right? It's kind of tough to do. No, the 85 times three defender repeats tomorrow on Monday, not uh, today on Sunday. But uh, I think the 83 plus attacker could be on deck for today, actually. Yeah, the 85, sorry, the 85 plus times three attacker might be on deck for today on Sunday since we've had the, the uh, defender upgrade, now the midfielder, and then today could be the attack upgrade. Probably going to require an 85 rated squad as well, which is again why I, I recommend the 85s. At least do a little bit of a club stock today on some of those. If you can get them at 10K or below, I think that's a good club stock because those will be especially in demand for an 85 pl uh, plus attacker pack 
that could be a part of content today. Yesterday, they dropped the draft token upgrade, of course, which is a dub because they dropped that once again with some draft objectives, which they did end up messing up. They messed up one of the packs in here. It was giving out the World Cup cards, which I can't believe we're still seeing those in FIFA. Um, after those were supposed to be, uh, you know, deleted out of our clubs like 23 days ago or something like that. But anyways, I think it's fixed now. EA said they tweeted about it. I'm going to show you a couple EA tweets here in a second. But uh, if you're playing foot draft, uh, that, you know, there's some good fodder in here, right? 81 times 11 pack, a couple of those, a 584 plus. It's nice to have these objectives in here. I wasn't expecting these really during team of the year. But EA dropping a cup and some team of the year draft objectives is nice. We always love a gameplay grind along with the cards in packs uh, to try to pack from the packs that you get from that grind. That's a dub. So GG's to EA there. And then of course, we can't not talk about this. Uh, we still have the um, the team of the year cup is going on, of course, but that's not what I'm after here. I'm after the daily objective and I think I'm in the wrong spot. Nope, there it is. Daily login upgrade. I went past it, but we are in the range now where if you've been doing this every single day, you're getting an 83 times 10 every day now for the past two days like yesterday if you've been keeping up with it and today today is 13 uh we will be able to get another 83 times 10 and then tomorrow on monday is the end it'll be 14 days since this has been released and we'll be able to get an 85 times for 84 times 5 and the 85 times 3 so this is another reason why i like fodder to invest on in the 84 to 86 range and if you have the higher tier just hold it because it's going to go higher just because so many people are going to go and do SBCs and they're going to be getting fodder and good chances to pack promo cards as well from those packs. And I think, you know, I don't know what SBC is dropping today. Again, really just trying to think back. You know, it could be Jorginho, but I really feel like we were too close after just having the Mane on Friday. It's either Jorginho or Trialson today. I'm, I can't, you know, if I had to choose, I don't know if I could pick one. But we'll either get one of those today. But at least EA is giving us a lot of fodder at the moment via objectives, which is nice to go ahead and get that stuff done. Speaking of fodder really fast as well, we didn't talk about the gold rares. If you have invested in gold rares, keep holding on to these cards and keep lazy listing them as well, right? These guys were 750 on Friday night when all the lightning rounds were going and stuff and people were opening packs. Now here we are heading into Sunday. These guys are 850 insta, insta buy. These, got, these cards just continue to slowly rise as people are grinding the upgrades. Even though the pack weight is abysmal, people are still packing team of the years here or there and uh, there's demand for it. For those premium upgrades, I think even common golds are up as well, which I, I mean... In my mind, I don't think buying commons and going doing going and doing, yeah, 650 for commons. Buying these and then going doing 75 plus player picks is not the move. Spend more to get the gold rares, open the premium upgrade packs, and then rinse the non-rares into the 75 plus player pick. But that's just my way of thinking. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, but yeah, I think those are going to continue to rise. So if you have invested in gold rares, watch um, the prices continue to rise throughout this week. They'll probably reach their max. Thursday night, Friday morning at the end of this week as the last kind of race to pack a team of the year card. Or maybe even, honestly, guys, as we as we get towards the end of the week as well, people are going to start saving up these league upgrades for the uh, Future Stars promo. So if they're expecting like Musiala or, you know, people really want Mudrik from Chelsea to get a, um, a card, you know, Premier League, premium Premier League upgrades, premium League One upgrades. Those will be uh, SBCs that people want to do at the end of the week as well to save up for future stars, especially if we start seeing some leaks. So if you have gold rares and you invested in for the rise, definitely keep holding on to those. But those prices are going to keep rising throughout the rest of this week. Now, speaking of the uh, future stars really, really fast, we had the... Uh, uh, card design that was added on Twitter and I can show you guys that here in a second I don't have it pulled up, but I can pull that up here in a second um, And also this pack in the store the 500k pack is going away today The essentials pack is expiring and I really do believe that this might be replaced by the pack that we saw recently um, that entails a uh, future stars it's the new year's like uh star pack or something 500k pack probably again actually it'd be a little bit less because it's not going to be expensive with the swap token inside of it but it has a swap token so watch out for that pack potentially coming today and being the start of future stars swaps and also this is the official card design the official future stars card design here with gavi as the poster boy this is not a leak by the way this is just the official card design and uh they never miss, honestly. They never miss with Future Stars, and they have not missed once again. That is a fantastic card. Uh, GG's to EA for that design. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see those guys in the game because a lot of us, I feel like, are almost even over Team of the Year. Just a little bit because of 
kind of how mid it's been, but I think EA has been taking step in the, steps in the right direction with the objectives and just hopefully that the pack weight can get a little bit better today, maybe during this week, and we can hit some team of the years and honorable mentions. But really quickly, speaking of team of the years once again, uh, if you packed a base Courtois item, I think it was on Thursday or even Wednesday of last week when the team of the year defenders were in packs, EA messed up with that. If you have tradable Courtois in your team right now, I do not believe that this compensation has been paid out yet. And I wanted to, again, talk about this because I don't think we've covered it on a video yet. Be very careful if you have Courtois because he's going to get supplied. And even if, some people were saying it was the whole entire defense last Wednesday when this error was happening. People are packing the gold version instead of the team of the year. So if EA do a lot of compensation, that could absolutely drop the price of Courtois and other defenders later on this weekend uh, or probably into this week because it takes them forever to do compensation. And then yesterday, of course, uh, these are the 81 times 11 packs that we talked about from the uh, team of the year draft objective that we're giving out the World Cup player items that are supposed to be gone anyway, and they're going to be um, they're going to be returning your items, or they said we'll receive correct items in the coming days. So if that means like this guy packed Jude, does that mean he's going to get team of the year Jude? Which if they're saying that they're going to give back the correct items, then he might. So if you got lucky yesterday and you opened one of these and maybe got a red World Cup card, that'd be crazy if EA did that. But we'll have to see when they compensate later on how they go ahead and do that i think that's been fixed now again they said they addressed the issue so that's no longer available there to maybe benefit off of if you open the pack and got the right card so if that was you though watch out for that compensation that's incoming soon hopefully today on sunday is like a really hype day though with team of the year icons potentially coming back into packs both teams by the way I don't, if i didn't mention that at the beginning uh, i would expect all of the team of the year icons to be released back in packs not just the team one or team two i don't believe we're getting any more than just team one or team two i also don't know if we're getting any honorable mentions in a mini release today either there's no leaks for that right now but maybe maybe ea's got some tricks up their sleeve we would love that a couple more cards and packs why not ea just give it to us there's a few few that we feel like we missed out on so drop those in packs today's honorable mentions and we'll be happy so if you guys enjoyed the video today smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new good luck if you're ripping packs good luck if you're playing weekly league i'll see you in the stream today it's been nate the foot account and catch you guys later peace